Welcome back to PyBytes YouTube and today a quick video on the modulo operator and the diffmod built-in function. Let's dive straight in. Okay, I'm here in my terminal and let's see how this works. So to demonstrate modulo first, um, you can kind of see it as how much a number fits into another number, right? So two fits two times in five and you get the remainder of one. So what it really returns is the remainder. So if I do 12 modulo 5, well, 5 fits 2 times in 12, um, but not more, right? So you get a remainder of 2. So we can use this concept to get all the even numbers from a list, for example, right? So you got 10 numbers, and then we can use a list comprehension. which I usually write from the inside out. So this would just replicate the list. And now I can put a condition in there. And the condition is going to be if number modal low two equals zero, basically, if it's divided by two, then it's an even number, right? And if it's the opposite, it's an uneven number. So that's uh, one example of modal low. Now notice that you only get the remainder, right? So five fits two times in 12, you get two. Two fits two times in five, you get one. If you also want the the part of how many times n fits into the number, uh, that's called the quotient. And then you can use the diff mod built-in. It's um, a built-in, so I don't have to import it. You can call the help on it. And it basically does a floor division first, and, and then it does the modulo we just discussed. So if I do a floor division with 12 by 5, you get 2. And as we saw before, 12 modulo 5 gets a remainder of 2. So if we want to do that in one operation, we can use diff mod. And it gives a tuple of the quotient, so that's 2, and a remainder of 2. A really cool example of this is converting seconds into minutes. For example, I got 145, 145 seconds. What if I want to get the minutes and the remaining seconds? Well, I can use diff mod seconds. And we know that every minute has 60 seconds. And I get a nice tuple of two minutes and the remainder of 25 seconds. So that's one use case where I have used diff mod to convert seconds into minutes and remaining seconds. So there you go, a short video on the modulo operator and the diff mod built-in. The modulo is really useful to see if something is divisible by a number. Diff mod is really useful if you want um, the quotient and the remainder, as we've seen with the seconds to minutes conversion. All right, hope uh, this is useful. Thanks for watching, and tomorrow we'll be back with a brand new video. See you then.